What's up everyone, this is Cybernet CCG, and today we'll be opening up a Cardfet Vanguard Flower Maiden of Purity trial deck for you guys. This is the final trial deck we'll be opening up of the three that just came out. And uh, yeah, I got this from Bay and Collectibles, be sure to check them out, link in the description. And uh, when you order through them, you get these two promo cards, Bermuda Triangle, excuse me, I can't say it, Bermuda Triangle, there we go. <laughs> and uh, you get these promos while supplies last, and uh, let's see, the first one we have is Duo Falling Heart Victoria, and we have Duo Falling Heart... Uh, Quincy? I think I'm saying that right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they are Legion cards. You can see here, you can put them together. And uh, it's pretty cool to get those promos. You need those promos, then uh, it's a cool option. Especially whenever you plan on getting the trial deck anyway. So, be sure to check them out. You get promos with all the trial decks too. If you want to check out the promos you get with the others, be sure to uh, see the other videos of the trial deck openings. They even open up a combo box for uh, the Gear Chronicle trial deck. Which uh, has a lot of cool stuff you can get from being collectibles. It comes with like booster packs and all kinds of stuff on there. So, so you even get like a booster pack opening and that trial deck opening. There we go. Opening up this trial deck. Put that to the side. Let's see. Of course, just like with the others, you're getting basically the same thing on a you know starter's guide. So you can see you know same thing we've seen a thousand times. I mean honestly, we teach you how to play the game. And then you have the advertisement and playmats, which, let me unfold this for you guys. I'll go ahead and show it anyway. Since the playmats are a little different, I'll go ahead and show each one. But, uh, yeah, there's the three different products you can get, advertisement on the back, and then you can turn it over, and you have uh, this design of the playmat. This one looks pretty cool. I like how, like I said, I like how the playmats are all different. Having the new uh, G-Zone for the grade fours and everything, so looks awesome. I like that design. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're not all the same on there. So, like I said, it actually gives me a reason to show all the playmats. Because I know sometimes people get sick of seeing the same playmat over and over and over in these videos. But I'm, I never know if, you know, this is like the first trial deck someone's ever seen from Card Fight. So, I feel like I should always go over that kind of stuff. Just like I do with Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff, too. Any card game, really. I feel like you, just in case someone's wanting to learn the game. If I can just get the plastic off this, that would be... Amazing. There we go. The worst part of any trial deck, and that is the plastic, and not the cards. Or at least for me. I don't know. I'm sure I'm the only one that has that problem. Uh, we have uh, the new Grade 4, which is uh, Flower Princess of Spring Arborea, which uh, that looks really cool. I love the artworks on all of these. They all look so cool. That's neat. You get two of those. Then you get two of uh, Ranunicles Ren uh, Flower Maiden uh, Asha. You get two of those. That's what she turns into, I think, on the openings. There you go. They have, like, a swamp thing. A <laughs> jungle lord dragon. Excuse me. Looks like a swamp thing that looks like a dragon, so <laughs> that's kind of cool. I love the art style on a lot of these cards, too. That's one thing about Card Vanguard I really love, is that they, they never just get, go halfway on the art. It's always good quality. Made of Gladalus. Get one of those as a hollow, and then another one that is a common, not hollow. After that, here's all the rest of the cards you're getting. Of course, I'm not going to name off everything. You get two Sentinels just like the others, so it's cool to see that. Again, love how they're adding that into Trial Decks. Makes it a lot better for, especially beginners and stuff, too, to get into the game and get the cards they need. And then we have our final Hollow that you get in this. I like the way that one looks. Fairy Light Dragon. But uh, our final Hollow is Maiden of Daybreak. So you get one of those, and then you get a uh, regular non-Hollow version of it, too. Looks nice. Just like the others, you know, pretty much the same thing, just Neonectars now. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this opening, pretty simple opening. So, uh, tell me what you guys think on each of these clans. If you had to choose between any of the products, I've asked, like, the same question, you know, on uh, if anyone, you know, if they plan on using one of them or not. But let's just have a little bit of a different question this time if you watched all three. All right, if you had to choose between any of the products, any of the three, which one would you uh, want to build around? You know, you have to choose. You can't go with any other clan, just one of the three. Tell me what you would choose. For me, I think I would still go with Gear Chronicle, but I'm not really sure. All three of them look pretty cool. So, tell me what you guys think and uh, what you would choose on that. Like I said, there's no other clan that exists. Just those three. You know, those are your only options. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Of course, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.